for kids. Like, it's not right for them to just say, oh, you have to leave and we don't pay our money like that's not right. Now, we've been speaking with several frustrated people who live at that hotel who tell us they were given an hour to get their stuff and get out. So we've been asking management what's going on. Channel 9's Gina Esposito joins us live outside the Days Inn in South Charlotte. And Gina, they did confirm the hotel is closing. You know, just in the last 30 minutes, I spoke with the general manager here at Days Inn. He tells me his employees no longer feel safe coming into work, so we had no other option than to shut down the hotel starting tonight. While many people have left their rooms here, others here told me they're just not sure what they're going to do. And they could have gave us a, a better notice, a two-week notice, a week notice, a 24-hour notice. As it's just very inconvenient. Like Carolina Howie is one of several people sharing their frustrations with us. Howie says staff at the Days Inn off Woodlawn Road told all of its residents they'll have to leave. They said they understaffed. They called us about 11 o'clock, said we had 12 o'clock to get out. Howie says the motel is her home. If she's forced to leave, she tells us she'll have to live in her car. Most of us don't got no resources to go nowhere or get in somewhere real quick. So we all kind of just stuck on stuff. All residents say they were told to get out by noon. Most of them told me they're not leaving. Candy Moss says she's already paid to stay the week. I have four kids. Like, it's not right for them to just say, oh, you have to leave. And we don't pay our money. Like, that's not right. You know, so I feel like I'm going to stand for something. I'm going to stand here. Government says stay here, so I'm going to stay here. Now, there are still several people here tonight who have refused to leave, even calling on some legal advice. The general manager said he's trying to work with each and every resident that's still here, even offering refunds for those who have paid. But he says everyone has to be out by tonight because employees will not be coming in tomorrow. Elsa. Gina, a really tough situation for everyone involved. Gina Esposito live for us. Thank you.